So I wanna talk about the importance of electrolytes on a ketogenic diet. I'm not sure if you know this or not, but it's really the lack of electrolytes that are responsible for the keto flu, constipation when you do keto, keto fatigue, cramping, and heart flutter or a palpitation, or even symptoms of heart arrhythmia. Let's go through a few reasons why this might be. Well, the first reason is this. When you run your body on glucose, 2.7 grams of water is needed for one gram of glucose. So when you're storing glucose as glycogen, you're holding like three times the amount of water. So glycogen or stored glucose is really a fluid filled sponge. So when you lower your carbs and you get rid of the fluid, you're gonna then get rid of the total volume of fluid and the electrolytes at the same time because that's where the electrolytes are stored, in the fluid. And guess what? You may experience dizziness, weakness, tiredness, lightheadedness, and even cramps when you don't have enough electrolytes. So electrolytes would be like potassium, magnesium, calcium, sodium, phosphorus, chloride, these minerals like magnesium, calcium, sodium, phosphorus are, are fairly stable for the most part. In other words, your body can pull them from the bone, from the muscles very easily, but potassium does not have a storage. So potassium is a mineral that is needed in large quantities, yet your body does not retain it that well, uh, but it definitely retains sodium. An average person is holding or retaining 8,000 milligrams of extra sodium. So when you're doing a fast, your body does uh, become more conservative with minerals and vitamins, so you're not gonna lose as much. But if you're already deficient and in going into a fast, those symptoms are magnified. Or if you're doing prolonged fasting, you're gonna definitely be deficient in some of these minerals. And another point I wanna talk about is when you're doing keto, which is low carb, uh, many times people do not consume a lot of vegetables because that's carbs, even though they're very low glycemic carbs and there are a lot of fiber, and we count net carbs, not total carbs. So if we're subtracting all the fiber, you're not getting as many carbohydrates as you might think. But when you don't get enough vegetables and you're not taking electrolytes, you're not gonna get enough potassium. Potassium is needed to lower uh, insulin. It's needed to improve insulin resistance. It's also needed for your gut. It's also needed for the peristalsis or the pumping action of the colon because most of these electrolytes, especially potassium, are needed for muscle contraction. So to have a normal bowel movement, you need potassium, magnesium, and definitely sodium for a slightly different reason, because if you're getting rid of your fluid and you don't have enough fluid in your tissues or in your colon, that's gonna cause dehydration and you're gonna get constipation. So sometimes you need more potassium for constipation, Sometimes you need more sodium, and even sometimes you might need magnesium. Now, the second reason why electrolytes are important is that electrolytes improve insulin resistance. And that is the goal of doing keto, NIF, in the first place, is to improve and balance out your insulin levels and fix insulin resistance. So you can improve this by lowering your carbohydrates, not eating as frequently, intermittent fasting, and taking electrolytes. So it speeds up the process without all the side effects. And lastly, you have the mitochondria. You, that's where all the energy production is happening. This is where your metabolism is located. And when you switch from running your body on glucose to fat burning, guess what? Your metabolism goes up. So the requirement for more electrolytes goes up too, simply because the mitochondria needs certain electrolytes and minerals to run the machine. So in summary, you have a couple options. You can take electrolytes or you can consume foods with electrolytes. And the main foods you wanna focus on in addition to the moderate protein and a higher fat are these things called vegetables. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.